My question is very short. So are you, sir. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> if I have 10,000 hex, okay. how long time it take me to be rich? <laughs> well, so I tell you, I tell you a funny thing about being rich. Rich is a state of mind. There's no number that will actually make you feel rich. I can tell you as a person who's got a lot of numbers, I got a lot of numbers and usually I don't feel rich. Usually. I really don't. I got to tell you, man, you pick up the phone here, call downstairs, no one's answering. I don't care who you are. <laughs> you call from off site. You're like, hey, maybe they answer the remote phone. Call from the cell phone. They're not answering. Supposedly if I start hotel. I don't feel rich. Is it the dream for everybody? It's the same for everybody. So if you want to truly, if you really truly want to feel wealthy, it's a state of mind. If you focus on what you have, you will feel wealthy. If you focus on what you do not have, you will feel poor. And it doesn't matter how much you have. And the worst thing is the more that you have, the more opportunity you miss. The more that you have, the more tax you pay. The more that you have, the more your friends steal from you. The more that you have, the more select the things you want are, you can't even get them. You get into a waiting list. Oh, you want the newest Ferrari? How many other Ferraris do you have with us, sir? Okay, well, we only have this allocation and we're gonna give those to those guys. And so you, you even have to pick a single brand. If you, don't, if you don't spend all your energy on a single brand and build a, a relationship with that authorized dealer, you won't have enough energy to, to get allocations for the other stuff you want. Is that way with watches? Is that way with cars? Just being rich isn't enough. And to tell you the truth, if you got, hey, you should come with me sometime to the bar. I like going to bars. I like meeting people. I like saying, hey, how's it going? You know, where are you from? All that. You start, you bust out the I'm rich. They don't like it. I swear to God, they don't like it. You got to find artful, humble brag ways to be like, ah, you know, I was at the car dealer yesterday. Please ask me which dealer, please. <laughs> come on, come on, do it. <laughs> like, like, yeah. So if, if you want to, if you want to feel better, I, I wrote a book called Sci Vive. Um, there's this, a whole chapter in there called the spirit chapter. You might like it. To tell you, I like your fashion sense. I like your posture. I think you've got good things going on in your life just from what I see. I think you asked a leading question. I think you might already be rich and you just put in like 0.00001% of your stack to see what this heck stuff is about. I could, I, could, I could more directly answer your question in a non-emotional way, which is historically the hex price has doubled every like 47 or 61 days or something. I don't know if it keeps continuing to do that, but I know that we're very, very early and I was very early in Bitcoin and we have a much better heart head start than they do. You know, the best time to buy Bitcoin was when there was no liquidity. Satoshi owned all the coins. There was no place to buy it. Everyone thought it was a scam. That was the best time to buy Bitcoin. And then you see a lot of that similar stuff here and you're like, Hey, that's the best time to buy. And people think that that's like bad. You're like, no, no, that's perfect. Like we, everything is going great. I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, um, Thank you. My pleasure. I try. I try. I try. Thanks, man. Good question, man.